One of the main things that we'll be focusing on this week is setting up clusters or clumps on your geometry to group together different sections in the simulation. Now I've set up another section in the scene here called Week 4 Define Clusters, but before we get into actually defining those cluster sections on our geometry, we're going to set up the passive section of our building. We're going to set it up so that the edges of this area that we've cut out and this whole back section here are static and not simulated in our bullet solver. We're just going to use them as colliders. Now, one good way of setting up the edges as passive colliders is to use the monster region VDB that we set up at the prep stage. So you can drop in an object merge and pull in that region VDB from week two prep building out monster region VDB. And if you display that and template your proxies, you'll see that the proxies are entirely contained within that region VDB right now, but we can erode this region in order to just select the edges of our building. So drop in a reshape SDF and set the operation to erode. And we don't need to erode very much. The default of one is already allowing us to select these edges here. Maybe I'll go a little bit more, but even just a low value of 1.2 is a decent starting point for this. Now we can group our geometry based on that volume connect our proxies to this group node and our SDF to the second input. And I'm going to call this group passive. And since we're going to be selecting regions by the volume, the group type has to be points, turn off the base group, turn on the bounding region and set this to bounding volume. And in order to check our passive group, we'll have to turn off the template on our proxies. And you can see based on the color preview and the viewport that our current group is selecting everything except the edges. So on this group node, you can just turn on invert to select the edges only. And we can just drop in a blast node to isolate the passive section and see what that looks like. In the blast, I'll select that passive group. It's kind of a pain with all these names listed here. So I'm just going to type it in instead and flip this to delete non-selected. And we can see exactly which portion of the building is not going to be simulated. Now I keep saying this won't be simulated, but what I mean is it just won't have its motion computed by the bullet solver. It'll still participate in the sim as a collider with everything. And we are still going to have our active pieces constrained to the passive section which will be important because we need something to root our active pieces to so that they don't just fall straight away as soon as the simulation starts. Now this monster region VDB is working to select the edges of this section, but we want to select a bit more than that. I also want to select this whole back wall section here. Now here I've hand placed some tube geometry and we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the monster SDF and drop in another group node and we'll call this passive as well. Once again, it has to be points, turn off base group, turn on bounding regions, and we're going to use a bounding object instead of volume this time. But right now, if we're chaining together two different group nodes, then by default, the second one is going to overwrite the first one. You can see if we bypass this group node, it's not really making any difference whatsoever. So on the second group node, you can set this initial merge option to union with existing. So that will combine the membership of both groups so that we have both our tube selection and our monster VDB selection. And as usual, I'll add a null for the end of this section. Just call this width passive section. And then we can move on to setting up our constraint clusters.